Oh, hey guys. Just finishing up an entry in my diary. I do this every single night before bed. Anything good or bad that happens to me throughout the day, I think it's important to write it down. And I always tell Bella everything, so she's here watching me as usual. But today I decided that I was gonna do a house tour and bring you guys into where I spend most of my time. And I thought that we could start in my bedroom because this is where I'm about to lay my head down to rest and obviously say my prayers before. So this piece here I got from Z Gallery. I am a huge fan of that store for home decor. These three lingerie pieces are, I thought, so cute for my bedroom. I think that they're so delicate and amazing and they just show, you know, what I dream of every night when I go to bed. I recently got new bedding. I honestly needed a change. Bella loves the bedding. She loves playing in it and hopefully she doesn't ruin this set because she peed and pooed on the other bedding. Bad girl. Bad girl. See? The headboard is from Z Gallery. It's kind of just like a suede. It's like a nude grayish suede with the studs here and I love it. I think that it's so elegant and whenever I wake up in the morning, I always feel like a little princess. So moving on to my nightstand. Although it is new, it looks like it's been through many, many houses and I really love that antiqued look. I love fresh flowers by my bed. It definitely adds to, I think, the aroma of the whole house. I have an oversized lamp here. I just thought that it went cute with this space. I don't really know what else to say about it. I have my sleeping mask here. I keep the case beside my bed. I just think that it's super cute. I rarely ever use it because I don't have a hard time falling asleep ever. I have a Fujifilm Instax Mini 25 Instagram kind of Polaroid picture camera, which I've never ever used. I ordered it when I was telling a story time video one time. If you guys remember that, leave it down in the comments. I have a new handbag that I just got. <laughs> nice fur. It's fake fur, obviously, although it does look super soft and luxurious. It is faux fur. And here I have a nice handbag rack with some hats. <laughs> this one, juicy. <laughs> I never really wear hats, but I think they're fun to collect. And this one I got at the LA Dodgers game. I got it customized to say my name on the side. I had to turn to Amazon to get my pink clock because I could not find a pink clock anywhere. So I found the internet and I ended up getting one. Super cute. Moving on to my vanity station where I do my makeup every single day. I definitely did not organize this space before showing you guys. Just have products everywhere. I love these acrylic cases that just slide out. I have some foundations here, some brushes. It's very good for organization. Clearly, I need another one. <laughs> I went to go see Britney Spears in Vegas and she signed this poster for me right here. I decided to put this here for inspiration because I think that she looks beautiful and it was definitely a night to remember. I have a full length mirror here and I love looking in my full outfit in this before I leave the house. And from my birthday recently, which was last month, I got this birthday princess shawl that I kept. I thought that it was just super cute and I mean, I don't wear it ever obviously because it's not my birthday, but you know. Um, I have a few shopping purchase bags up here with just dust bags and everything just for storage. As you can see, I am well versed in the mirror section. I honestly just have a quote. If you ever pass a mirror, don't miss a chance to double check. So walking out of my bedroom in the morning, I have a little art decal here that says, be your own kind of beautiful. It's definitely important to me to stay inspired because sometimes I get down just like anybody else and just seeing this in the morning puts a smile on my face and it makes me ready to start the day. So come to the bathroom. So as you see on the ground here, there is kind of a, I don't even really know the pattern of it, but it's just a rug to kind of give some dimension to the space. I love the pattern and it's kind of nice to not have cold tile on your feet when you wake up in the morning when I'm washing my face and brushing my teeth and stuff like that. So my favorite part of the countertop here are the trays that I have here. I have two right here and they definitely keep the counter space nice and clean. If you guys are thinking about any organization tips or whatever, these definitely helped me out a lot. And in the middle of the trays we have another set of flowers in this kind of crystallized mirror broken glass kind of vase. I love it. I have a tiara from my birthday. <laughs> you know, 
And as we can see, Bella is winding down for her night as well. She has all of her toys there. She likes to keep them all lined up. She's very territorial. Here I have a piece. When I got it, I definitely did not think I was going to be putting it above the toilet, but it ended up just working in the spot, and I love the way it looks. And obviously, you have to have some magazines here for any guest that comes over that gets a little preoccupied, shall we say, on the toilet, and obviously some poopery because I definitely do not want my house stinking up. Over here in Bella's corner, we have her dog carrier. This is her Louie that she travels in. I love it because she can see out the front. It is quite pricey, but um, you will never have to buy another one for literally their whole entire lives because it's so sturdy. We've obviously already done a shower tour, so let's just move on with the tour. So I definitely don't do a lot of cooking in this kitchen, that's for sure, but I like having guests over and entertaining a lot. So we usually reheat meals on the stovetop here or in the oven here, but there definitely is a lot of use to the kitchen. And the most important thing in the kitchen, the coffee maker. I am obsessed with my Keurig. Coffee is one of my favorite things to drink in the morning. And my favorite blend is definitely the breakfast blend from Starbucks. I love the taste. It's super sweet. And if you're new to coffee, definitely try it out. Here I have kind of a basket of makeup products that I don't necessarily use. I forget so many of my friends' birthdays and stuff like that. So whenever they come over, or if, even if it's not their birthday, I'll say, would you like a lip product or would you like an eyeshadow palette or, you know, some brushes or something like that? I just... I like giving away stuff I don't use instead of just throwing it out. This is Bella's food container. It's from Henry Bendo. She has a matching food dish as well. Now we can go to the kitchen table here. And this is one of my favorite pieces in my entire house. I just think that it's so classic and beautiful. And right now I do have it set just because I wanted it to look pretty, but I don't have any people coming over or anything. But this is how it looks when I do have dinner parties and stuff. And I love these candle holders from Z Gallery. I think that they're the perfect color and size. So now we're in the living room, one of my favorite places to relax and unwind. And I definitely spend a lot of my nights here if my favorite TV show is on or I just am hanging with friends or Bella or my boyfriend. Everybody that comes over always asks me, where did I get this couch? And I have to be honest, I got it from Ikea. It's definitely a cheap find and it was a kind of U-shaped sectional before. And I cut off one of the sides that would go over on this side and I think that it just it was too big for the living room. I think that it was swallowing it up. I love the big fluffiness of Z Gallery pillows. I think that they're so beautiful and they definitely are very soft for cuddling if you're watching a movie. This little guy over here, I named Benji. He was actually a gift and I just put him right here in the living room because I like to think of him as Bella's boyfriend because Bella and Benji, doesn't that sound cute? Here we have a flower vase that also is in that metallic silver color. This it gives a lot of texture for sure and then I placed some blue flowers and some white flowers as well right on top. And here I have two printouts from a photo shoot I did from last year I believe in October. I was by the pool at my friend's house and he was like, oh my God, we should totally shoot right now. It's a beautiful day. And these were actually a friend who was at the pool's heels and she let me wear them. It was unplanned and fun and I think that they turned out great. Whenever I get off of line or from reading comments or anything mean is said to me, I definitely like to come here and think and also pray for people that are, you know, just spreading so much hate and people that say rude things to me without actually knowing who I am. I'm not a fan of meditation, but I would almost call it meditation. It's kind of just relaxing and exhaling out all the hate and just thinking only about positivity. And that's why I put this here, live what you love. It's just validation for me that everything I'm doing in my life is for a reason, it is for a purpose. So it's definitely a nice reminder for me to have. And obviously the TV, which is on mute right now because if it was on volume, you wouldn't be able to hear me. <laughs> Moving on to a bookshelf that I have, and it's kind of one of those leaning bookshelves. If you can see, the slant is actually very, very severe. And the whole theme to this bookshelf is kind of gold. The living room was silver, but this one is gold. A gold perfume bottle, a bowl of gold balls. Another inspirational quote, do what makes you happy, which I think is amazing. Down here we have kind of this sea urchin kind of thing, crustacean. I just thought that it was really pretty. And a rabbit that my boyfriend got me for Easter that I thought was super cute, so I kept that. And also another feathered throw. 
So I have a coffee table here with some flowers, a nice picture frame, a place for my keys. I'm one of those people that always loses their keys, so it's nice to have a spot where I can just keep it there and I know where it is. I have a skull here, which is so not my style, but I saw it and I absolutely had to have it. I think it's so cute and kind of like Pirates of the Caribbean or something, so I just kept that there. Another chandelier lamp, which I have all over my house, and a nice Chanel Louis Vuitton Balenciaga kind of fashion poster. Now, as I'm leaving my house, I have an inspirational quote up here, reach for the stars. I have a bunch of pictures from my Instagram. I swear every single time I look at it, I see a different photo, which is super cool. And last but not least, definitely not least, Jesus Christ, whenever I leave the house, I give him a little kiss on the lips just to keep me safe. If I'm going to dinner or the movies or the club, I definitely want to be safe and definitely have him watching over me. Oh my God, and I forgot. If you go outside my living room, you will go to the pool. Oh wait, Bella, come here. Let's go outside, honey. Bella loves it out here. It's super dark right now, but as you can see, it's a pretty big pool. We're super lucky. When the sun hits it, there's a ton of good tanning time, and Bella loves running around here. I love entertaining here. But that is all for my house tour. Right, Bella? That's all. We're going to have to leave you guys. So until next time, stay gorgeous. <laughs> Let's go, Bella. <laughs>